JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for May the 5th. I am Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read uh, the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded slightly higher against the majority of the other G10 currencies on Tuesday during the Asian session Wednesday. It gained uh, against SEC, Euro, NZD, NOC and AUD in that order, while it underperformed versus uh, the pound, the Swiss franc and the Canadian dollar. The relative strength of the US dollar and the Swiss franc suggests that uh, markets traded in a risk-off fashion yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, uh, turning our gaze to the equity world, uh, we see that the major EU indices tumbled yesterday with the negative investor morale rolling over into the US um, session. Today, in Asia, Japan's Nikkei 225, China's Shanghai Composite and South Korea's KOSPI stayed closed due to holidays, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng is down 0.52%. Equities fell sharply yesterday with the tech uh, sector having uh, its worst uh, day since October, perhaps as investors became uh, concerned uh, over uh, stretched uh, valuations. What gave them another reason to abandon uh, risky assets were comments by US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen who said that it may be that interest rates will have to rise somewhat to make sure that our economy doesn't uh, overheat. Later in the day, she downplayed the comments, saying that the inflation uh, would not be a problem and that any increases will be transitory. Asked directly on her interest rate comments, she said uh, that uh, she was neither predicting nor recommending a hike. If anybody appreciates the independence of the Fed, I think that person is me, Yellen said. Even after her, uh, her latter remarks, equity continued to fall, which indicates the impact uh, even a single mentioning of tightening has on the market. Fed Chair Powell has been adamant that the labor market is still, fo is still far short uh, of where uh, it should be to allow any discussion of tapering among, f among uh, Fed officials. However, that view may be tested on a Friday when uh, we get the US employment report for April. Expectations are for a strong report which could take equities further down and the dollar higher, but if policymakers stick to their guns uh, even after that, we are likely to see a disruption of the prevailing trends. In other words, we would expect equities to rebound and the US dollar to come under renewed selling interest. As uh, for today's events, during the Asian morning uh, today, we got New Zealand's employment uh, report for the first quarter, which came in better than expected and helped Kiwi recover some of yesterday's losses. During the European session, the final services and composite PMIs for April from the Eurozone and the US are due to be released, but as it is always the case, they are expected to confirm their preliminary estimates. The ISM non-manufacturing index and the ADP employment report for the month are coming out as well. The ISM index is expected to have risen to 64.3 from 63.7, while the ADP report is forecast to show that the private sector has gained 815,000 jobs after adding 517,000 in uh, March. We will, we will also get to hear from three Fed, three Fed officials, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester, and Boston Fed uh, President Eric uh, Rosengren. Following Yellen's remarks over higher rates, it would be interesting to see what they have to say about the Fed's uh, future uh, policy plans. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. 
you can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.